Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm continuing this short series of videos where I go in and I take a look at Microsoft Flight Simulator in the terrain regions that is offered by some of the maps that we have in DCS already. Uh, I've taken a look at the um, Dubai region. Uh, I plan on looking at like Damascus and Beirut in one of my next videos. And today we're going to take a look at Las Vegas, um, the region of downtown Vegas at McCarran International, where I'm at right now, uh, the Vegas Strip, uh, shoot up over past, I believe, where Nellis is, and then go towards the Hoover Dam, because that's kind of the route that I'm used to flying in DCS whenever I jump in and check out the Vegas and uh, Nevada map that they have in DCS. So uh, let's jump in here and uh, get up in the air and see what we can do. I know they're going to start yelling at me any minute now for taking off the way I did. So looking up ahead, you can already see some of the weirdness. See how like the buildings look like they're melted a little bit? And I also noticed the same thing in the Google Earth um, app for my Oculus Rift S, which is the VR program that kind of lets you zoom in, move around, and walk around uh, Google satellite imagery. Because at times it looks a little funky at a distance. But here we are. And as you get closer to these things, they tend to start to look a little better. Yeah, ATC is going to yell at me for a while here. Let's just cruise down the strip here and see what we can see. So right off the bat, everything is far more detailed. You mean like all of these buildings appear to be where they should be but then you got this weirdness where like you've got trees growing through the buildings and on the sides of the buildings which just looks freaking weird however at the same time I've never seen any map in any flight sim to be as this realistically detailed But the trees are kind of weird, and it almost looks like a post-apocalyptic Vegas at times when you look at some of the textures at a distance until they draw a little better when you get close to them. But, like, look around. You've got trees growing out of the buildings in weird spots. Like I said, it looks almost like uh, some kind of post-apocalyptic thing where, like, the trees have overgrown the city, you know? However, at the same time, look, there's a Denny's down there. I saw an In-N-Out burger as well. I really wanted to stop and get one, but, you know, it's not that realistic, right? Unfortunately. But again, what they've achieved here is just outstanding. I mean, look at this. It's not perfect by any means, and I'm sure in time this is going to improve, but holy shit is this amazing. I picked this flight to be something like 5 or 6 a.m., I think, early morning, so the sun's just coming up, and it's starting to look pretty nice here. But, like, again, in DCS, you've just got a bunch of them same buildings pasted over and over and over again, and here, you definitely get the variation the way it's supposed to be. And uh, there is something where something should be, even if it's not the right thing, I guess is my point. And that's what I've seen across the board in Flight Simulator, in like the Damascus region and over in the Dubai region. Uh, there's a spot for something sometimes, it just might not be there. And I'm not sure why some of these things aren't drawn in or if they just never got added, you know. But. I'm no expert on the Vegas region. I only know the Vegas region from 
DCS's Nevada map than what I've flown in it. And I can tell you, I'm seeing a lot more stuff here that I've never seen before. And you would think with all these objects that, like, my performance would be something terrible. But as you see, there's no, like, pausing or stuttering yet, at least. Uh, one thing I've noticed with Microsoft Flight Simulator is you will get a big pause or a stutter maybe once or twice as you get to a point where you have to load more terrain. But other than that, I've not had any issues. Uh, it seems like I think I'm running on Ultra detail-wise. And everything looks really good except for some of the weird issues with the terrain uh, and the textures, how they like load in and out. That's just something with the renderer, I believe. Not anything with my performance like that. Kind of looks weird. And I'm running on an i9 9900K with 32 gigs of PC 3000 megahertz memory, a 2080 Super GPU with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, and this is all running off of a 1 terabyte SSD. So, this is definitely considered a high end system. Wow, at a distance, everything looks really amazing. And, and what I'm noticing is, I really think the scale is what is different between this and DCS because this whole area looks longer and bigger to me than what it does in DCS. I think DCS does things in a more bunched up area but makes the buildings bigger possibly. At least that's what I'm feeling. I'm not entirely sure that is true. But after flying through some of the features on the Dubai map in Flight Simulator and then doing the same thing in DCS, almost feels like the scale is a little bit different for dramatic effect. So we're going to cruise out this way and uh, head towards the Hoover Dam. And let's take a look and see what the Hoover Dam looks like in Flight Simulator as well. And as you cruise over the outskirts of the city here, you definitely see variation. And it's not that same kind of barren piece of texture with a bunch of objects pasted on it over and over and over again. The houses look different. Um, the features look different. It's just more believable overall. I think my only other issue that I have with Flight Simulator right now is the loading times are atrocious on an SSD. And today, in particular, I've noticed a ton of crashes where I sit there and wait forever for the game to load, it checks for the update, it does what it has to to get me to the next page, I get to the next page, and then I try to load the scenery, and kapow, it crashes. So here's another example of something on the ground, but then it's featureless. It's just a flat texture, and they put a house on the football field. So not quite sure that's supposed to be there, but I would say probably not. So the whole system is not perfect by any means, but when you're at altitude, I've never seen nothing like this in a flight sim ever. So they've definitely accomplished what was seemingly the impossible up until this point. Now there's a little entrance into the waterway off to my left, and then straight up ahead towards the sun is, I want to say that's Lake Powell. I forget the name of the lake that connects to the Hoover Dam in the Vegas region. But I want to say that's Lake Powell, and I could be wrong. However, if that is Lake Powell, that's the area where they filmed so many classic movies, like the uh, ship getting uh, crashing into the water at the beginning of the Planet of the Apes, uh, so many other movies.
Okay, up ahead here to the right should be my entrance way into the Hoover Dam. If everything is the same, that is, as it is in DCS, and I expect it would be. Picking up speed. I can't wait to get a plane that has a much higher G tolerance and that can go much faster because the only other issue I have here in Flight Simulator is all these planes really don't go that fast and when you do overspeed you just literally break apart and I get it that's realistic but I want something that can handle some G's and really cruise and uh, I have the Game Pass version of Flight Simulator and I don't have anything like that in the planes that I have at the moment. And I think it's pretty lame that when you do wreck in Flight Simulator, you just get a black screen and then you get a little pop-up that says, Oh, you have wrecked. That's kind of lame. At least give me a chance to recover or something. That looks pretty outstanding. If you peek up over to the right there, you can start to see the little bridge structure that goes across the top of the dam there. And I looked at this the other day, and it just doesn't look right to me. I'm not sure that what they did here is correct for the Hoover Dam. At least it looks very different than what it does in DCS. That's a certainty. That sun is still rising over there. Looks rather nice. So far, this is the only aircraft I really like that is in Flight Simulator in the version that I have. Uh, I'm hoping to download some new aircraft soon, some freeware stuff. But I tried to download an F-18 earlier from, I can't remember the guy's site, there was a YouTuber that posted an F-18. And um, they had a link to download it, and it took you to this, like, shady site that wants to, like, you know, Shanghai you into signing up for some bullshit. And then my uh, browsers started crashing and acting stupid, and uh, I had to reset my PC. So I was going to have an F-18 and uh, give it a shot, but I didn't want to go through all that bullshit either. And when your browsers start acting weird, you know... I don't know why the guy would have posted that link. I think it was the Flight Sim Guy or something, one of those YouTubers. He does a lot of good stuff, but the link that he posted is garbage. And I would highly recommend not trying to go to that link. And again, it just makes you jump through hoops to like three or four other pages just to try to find the link to download it. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. So as you can see, the Hoover Dam looks weird. Doesn't look complete. Looks like something's missing here. Just does not look right. It's very different than what it is in DCS, for sure. Or maybe, no, maybe there it is, but it still looks weird, doesn't it? It just doesn't look right. So I see what they were going for, but I don't know that that's correct at all. And again, DCS tends to make things look nicer that are, you know, focal points. So maybe they just, you know, made theirs look nicer on purpose, and maybe it's not realistic. But what is over there really doesn't look right based on what I'm so used to seeing. And I've never been to the real Hoover Dam, so I can't tell you that's accurate. But it definitely does not look appealing. What does look appealing is all of this amazing rocky terrain and the valley down there with the water. Um, and again, I've said it before, I'll say it again, at altitude, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks hard to beat. I mean, the, the, the palette they use for the terrain, I mean, look at all the different variations of the browns and greens that are peppered into these uh, formations over here on the sides. I'm 
So this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And this was the Vegas region from McCarran International through the Strip, across the city to the Hoover Dam. And I wanted to compare what I'm used to seeing in DCS with what they have in Flight Simulator. And it's clear to me that they're both very different, but both very pretty in their own ways. So I hope this has been entertaining and helpful for you to get an idea of what you can expect in Flight Simulator versus what they have in DCS. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time, guys, 